Okay. Let's uh, win the war in the north. Now there's a face I've seen before. Thought of it. We met in Jorvik, the Yuletide feast. The Yuletide massacre. I remember. What brings you here? Half Jarl. He summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills. Circle round! Watch your backs! Picts. They won't be happy to see the likes of me. Take you all! and we'll watch your back. Are you wounded? Mm. I'll live, but my men... Oh, this is terrible. Die today. Tonight we drink with Odin. Either way, we claim victory. For Thor! Yeah. Old friend, once again. I've done Ragnarsson. 
We met in the forge of battle. Surely a good sign. I don't know you. One of Farrowid's new dogs? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor, yes. Down in Mercia. Kingmaker with my brothers Eivor and Uba and Finir in East Anglia. From the tales I hear, I feared you might be taller. That's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. <laughs> but the timing is poor, as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle saw. Thirsty. Faravid, have your men build field pyres for the dead. At once, my yard. Not here, not now. Then to Donacaster for a victory feast! The oldest son of Ragnar Lothbrook, so he says. What do you make of him? Which one? Hmm. Which one? Uh, let's go with this. Heroic so. display. He makes nice a powerful tool. first impression. Just the way he likes it. Welcome to Jorvikshire, friend. Well met, Faravid. I was hoping your Jarl would be as welcoming, but I suppose I must earn his trust. Is that why you've come here? To earn Hafton's trust? To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose? It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. Well, there we go. You heard the Jarl. Take the gear and start digging. He's at Dunnercaster, the towering castle by the river. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Loving my new mount. I'm just gonna slam the base all the while. Roman giants outdid themselves with this fortress. Where would Hafton Jarl hold court? 
How this works? Fix a problem or two for us. You get a room. There's good coin to be made. These Picts are a sneaky lot, masters of guile and ambush. Have a care. Lady Moira, my wife grows ill. I will attend to her soon, I promise. But Halfton needs me now. Are you a nun? I thought nuns dressed like geese. Nothing mm. of the sort. I am Moira of Weaker, Halfton's herbalist. He is an ill man, and I do what I can to give succor and hope. I saw him fight. He was in fine health then. Thanks in part to my soothing tonics. Would you pardon me? We crush them in spring. No sooner. That is the plan. Yet my people suffer day by day. Your people? Do you rule a shadow kingdom under my nose? Our people suffer from these brutal winter raids. <gasps> Care to test Fair warning, Joe. My fists have hammered nails and strangled sharks. Still care to brawl? Swift and strong you may be. It's the one most righteous who wins the fight. You should drink good honest mead, not that bitter Frankish. Oh no.
legend ends, bound to no name. This war must end. That is my first concern. The time to strike is... is... when I say we strike. Halfdan's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that, King Rishia. As you wish, my lord. Ooh. Strife. Who is this? Come closer. Avdan Ragnarsson. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Eivor Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. I and don't you are the hero of your age. So save my skulls. skulls. Not just enjoy. any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishier could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone. But I led the charge. The silver Eivor recovered there now pays for our war with the Picts. It is wasted fighting Picts. It should be put to better use. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Ferovid to lead our strike against the Picts, in spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I felled them, Haftan Jarl, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. <laughs> Old friend, your jests hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without your hammer, Great Jarl. Please accept this, your share of the loot we won today. A thing of beauty. Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Eivor? Wine goblets of a Roman kneelers. Give me a horn of mead any day. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Two faced, smirking glory hound. My Lord, in your summons, you said. Shh. Not here. Not now. Dance, sing, and fill yourself with ale. Then meet me atop this tower of stone. There I will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. A tale as old as the world. Warrior! You can swing an axe! And can you lift a horn? Hid!
My luck overspills like the ocean's tide. Only fate will keep me from winning. Then come and see. What fate do these dice hold for you? Outro. King Risha. Ah, Eivor. We have missed your wit on the Orvik Council. I attend in spirit. Would you lend us your wisdom now, if possible? We are at pains to determine how to deal with the Northern Picts. Meet iron with iron. That is the way. And this feast is how the Danes prepare their blades. We fought well and won. Tomorrow we'll fight again. But we must always make time for celebration. I defer to your expertise. Hacking, hewing, and the like. Enjoy the feast, Counselor. How true. I shall send... ...note in protest. Vi har alla gått dig mjuk silver. Det är älskarna. Efter du haft er några rivaler på mark. Show you a wonder. All this we conquered this, he and I, together. You have earned great fame, won many battles across England. But not alone, no, no. Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uber, Ivar the Boneless, Sigurd Snake and I, great warriors all, my brothers. Gold is good, and battle better, but glory never dies. Forever it lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on valor's steed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid, above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? Friendship goes beyond words. It is a solemn bond, a chain unbroken. Spoken like the Voler, it is indeed a kind of magic. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has caught you?
friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Fan of it. He seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if Faravid has been disloyal. Then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this? From a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faroin wants to poison you? I fear he has tried. Countless times. And failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up... <coughs> Unearth his treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stopped the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. We can do the same here. Like a good sword, honor has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband, and behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man. Even better, even better. Fair enough. I'll find what I find, then return, my friend. Don't let Faravid fool you. He is hiding something. Off we go. Let the sail See out. You.
to sail in. Big it must be better than scam ahead. Cold and dirty must be the place. Throw yourself in Gunungagap, you bastard! I am not a dog! Get it. Out of it! Ah, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Faravid. The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Haftan and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow. Lend me a knife, Faravid. This whelp needs gelding. Ofer, piss off. Small men always talk big. So, was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, Afton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Falavid. The Picts raided that monastery, plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons built more churches than barns and filled them with herds of monks. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets. And not just for us, we tracked Pictish raiders heading north. I know the place. My raiders sacked Elmet not long ago. Ma. And then they picked the bones left over from your feast. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Hoftan didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Eivor? In truth, he doubts your loyalty. Fears your heart is not in this fight. Doubts my loyalty? I have fought for Hafton. Killed for Hafton. Bled for Hafton. And he doubts me? Nothing I have seen gives me reason to doubt you. But Hafton, he seems a cautious man. Cautious. He was always leery, but now fear has gnawed him down to the bone. To arms, dogs! Let's roast some pigs! Watch for ambushes! Should have stayed in Donacastre. More mead, fewer pigs. There's no glory in guard duty. Move out! The pigs are just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back. Sneaky lots, masters of guile and ambush. Have a care. <laughs> Run forward, faster, faster.
Thank Thor we made it. That was good war work, all. Already dead, fool. I'm This cave is a passage. The Picts are using it to cross the mountain. A gift for us. You track them through the cave. We'll circle around back and snare any who try to slip away. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it here. My uh, dog just spilled stuff all over me, and, um, yeah, I need to clean that up. So, uh, I'll leave you tomorrow. Best luck, everybody. Bye.